Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy. The dating game was good, so it's that time again, people. When I drop my new bad boy membership program, this one is called Same Day Lay, okay? So this one basically is just teaching you how to have sex with women on the same day you meet them. Okay, so you meet a girl in the daytime, meet a girl at nighttime, you even, you know, match with a girl on Tinder, whatever it is, but it's the same day, and then you end up having sex with her. Okay, so this is what I'm really excited about, because I want everyone to join the Bad Boy membership so that you can check out this entire program. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a clip of this program, right? And after the clip, make sure you click the link below so you can join the Bad Boy membership so you can see this entire program, plus all the other bad boy membership programs that are on there, all right? So check this out. It's a same day lay. So basically that's having sex with a woman the same day you meet her, right? So what happens is, is a lot of times you will meet a girl at a bar, at a club, or an online dating site, or wherever it is, right? And you exchange numbers and then you meet again another day to you know go on a date or hook up, have sex, whatever it is, right? So when we talk about the same day lay, we're talking about you getting sex on that same day you meet her, right? Now, what you got to understand about this and what you're going to hear about in this program is that this is advanced game, okay? This is advanced game. So you guys have been on the bad boy membership and, you know, there's a bunch of, um, you know, other membership programs that are here that's going to teach you um, certain things that you need to know for this membership program. So this is why it's important to, you know, look over uh, some of the membership programs. I'm going to talk about which ones you should look over in a second, but this is why it's important to, you know, really pay attention to all of the different programs and listen to them multiple times and practice them so that you get good at certain things. So then when other things come up, then you'll be able to, you know, execute and do those things. So what you have to understand is, is that, you know, when it comes to the same day lay to actually accomplish it, you got to be a little bit more advanced in the game. You understand? So now that moves on to, you know, what you need to know about how to do this, how to, you know, um, execute this, how to make this happen, right? So in order for the same day late to happen, you need to be able to be great at approaching women, uh, flirting and building sexual tension. And you also need to know how to read women. All right. So you need to be able to be great at approaching women, flirting and building sexual tension. And you also need to know how to read women. See, the thing is, you're going to need to be able to be good at approaching women because what happens is, is that you have to be able to go up to the girl and talk to her. You have to be able to get over that fear of doing that to even get into the situation where you can have sex with a woman that you meet on the same day. So that's just the, the more obvious thing, right? But it's not just about approaching women. You also have to know how to flirt and build sexual tension because the flirting and the building of the sexual tension is the thing that's going to motivate the girl to have sex with you on the first day she meets you. Right. And also you need to know how to read women, meaning you need to see how receptive she is or isn't to your, you know, flirting and building sexual tension, because that's going to give you the information on if you should keep going with this girl or just to move on to another girl who is, uh, you know, going to be more receptive to you. So these are, you know, some of the things that you need to know in order to pull this off. But I'm going to be uh, explaining in detail how to actually do this. Right. But what you want to do is you want to refer to these programs on the bad boy membership uh, so that it can refresh your mind on how to do this. So when I talk about, um, you know, approaching women, you need to check out the art of approaching and picking up women successfully. So make sure you check out that program again. Uh, when I talk about flirting, you should check out the art of flirting because it breaks down uh, how to flirt. Then check out the program, how to build sexual tension with a woman, because it's going to teach you how to build that sexual tension. And then also check out the program, how to read women. So that will give you insights on how to read these women. All right. So you have to understand that there are certain things that you sort of need to um, understand and get down before you even attempt to do this. Because if you're a guy who's never talked to a girl, if you're a guy who, um, you know, is 
you know, you don't have any uh, communication skills. You don't know how to flirt. You don't know how to build sexual tension. This is not going to work for you. OK, because what happens is, is that you need to be able to be that type of guy who knows how to do these things so that you can guide the situation in the direction for things to flow in order for you to actually make this happen. Right. And so this is why it's important to um, look at all the other bad boy membership programs, you know, and, and really soak in that game, practice it so that a lot of it becomes second nature to you. So when it comes down to doing this. When it comes down to getting with um, a chick on the same day, then you will be, you know, well versed in how to do these things to make it easier for you. Right now, the next thing I'm going to talk about is the three scenarios that you will have that will make it um, feasible for you to actually have a same day lay. Right. So these three scenarios is th one the daytime. So this is, you know, when it's during the day, you're out and about, um, you know, it's basically the daytime, you know, uh, it could be noon, one o'clock, two o'clock. Sometimes it can even be earlier during the day where you're just out and about and you can meet women, right? Second scenario is nighttime. So when we say nighttime, it's more so about the nightlife, you know what I mean? So this is like more so like you're going to bars, clubs, it's the evening, it's nighttime, you know, people are drinking, having fun, doing all that other stuff. So in that scenario, you'll be able to pick up a girl and, you know, have sex with her that night. So I'm going to talk about that. And then the last scenario is online. So this is when you meet a chick online or you, you basically, let's say, match with a girl on Tinder or you are sending messages back and forth with a girl or OkCupid or, or any of these other sites, but you, you're trying to set up something for that day or that night. So it's, it's you talking to a girl and getting her off the, the site, right? It's you talking to her, getting her off the site and, you know, meeting her that day. So basically, we're going to be talking about how to meet girls in the daytime, nighttime and online and actually get them and have sex with them that day. OK, and so before we get into all that, I just want to say that, you know, some guys may listen to this or hear this and they're going to be like, oh, my God, that's that's ridiculous. That's that's impossible. How are you going to be able to do this? This this doesn't make any sense. Like no girl's going to actually, uh, you know. Uh, go home with you the same day she meets you and all this other stuff and see once I break this down and once I show you what's going on you're going to see what you know how it really occurs and and how it's really going to work for you you understand but again like I said earlier you got to make sure that you are on point with you know approaching and talking to women uh you know the flirting the building of sexual tension and knowing how to read women when you're on point with that this stuff is going to be you know extremely easy for you right now let's get into you know how to meet a woman during the day and have sex with her that same day so we're going to be talking about the daytime how to actually uh you know pull this off in the daytime right so now we're going to talk about some steps on how to do this so the first step is this First step is you basically just have to, let's say you're, let's give a scenario where, um, you know, it's one o'clock in the afternoon and you're chilling outside, walking around, doing your errands or whatever it is. And you see a girl. So the first step is you approach the girl, right? You see the girl, you approach the girl, simple, right? <laughs> so that's the first step, obvious first step, right? Now, second step you need to do is you need to find out what she's up to that day. Okay? So the second step is you need to find out what she's up to that day. So when you approach her, you know, you don't have to like <laughs> go and approach her and the first thing out your mouth is like, hey, what are you doing today? You know what I mean? It could be, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that. But while you're talking to her, you have to find out what she's up to that day, right? And now what you're trying to look for, right? is one of three things. If she has definite plans, flexible plans, or no plans. Okay, I'm gonna say that again. If she has definite plans, flexible plans, or no plans, right? 
Now, what you have to understand is, is that if she has definite plans for that day, this is the type of girl who you're not going to really be able to do nothing. You know, you can't do anything with her that day because she has definite plans, right? What you're looking for is the girls who have flexible plans or no plans. So if you if you approach a girl, you start talking to her and you find out what she's up to that day, you say, hey, so what are you doing today or whatever? What's going on with you today, right? You want to see if she has flexible plans or no plans. Because if she has flexible plans or no plans, that's the type of girl who you can end up having sex with that day. If she has definite plans, it's not going to happen, right? So let, what, what are, what's, the, what's the definite plans? What's the flexible plans? And what's no plan? Let's define that. So for example, definite plans would be a woman, let's say you talk to her, you're having a conversation and you're like, oh, so what are you up to today, right? And that's really all you got to say to to you know, uh, see what's going on with the girl to say, Hey, what are you, what are you doing today? What's going on with you today? Right. And so she might say something like, Oh, you know, I'm on my way to work. Or she might say, Oh, I'm about to go pick up my kids from school. Or she may say, Oh, I'm going to dinner with friends in like an hour or something, whatever it is. Right. Those are definite plans. So a girl like that, you're most likely not going to be able to, um, have sex with her that day. Right. Because she has definite plans. Right now, flexible plans would be something like this. Let's say you say to the girl, hey, you know, what are you up to today? She might say something like, oh, you know, I'm just running some errands here and there. Or she might say, oh, it's just my day off. I'm taking a walk. Or she might say something like, you know, I'm just uh, walking around enjoying the weather. So. It's not really anything definite. She's doing stuff, but she, it's not anything definite. It's not anything that can't be switched around. So it's flexible. You understand? Now, when a chick has no plans, that's when a girl will kind of basically say she's not doing anything. So you might say, hey, what are you up to today? And she'd be like, oh, you know, nothing, just chilling or nothing. I was just on my way home just to watch Netflix or whatever. So she doesn't really have anything going on. So... If a girl has definite plans, that's the least likely that you're going to be able to sleep with her that day. If she has flexible plans, that's a, you know, a little bit better of a situation where things can go down, right? Now she has no plans. That's even better. That's the best type of situation because now she has uh, time to chill and, and, and hang out and make something happen. Now, one thing I want to say about this too, when I talk about the same, same day lay, is that you also need to make sure that you are free because you can't do this also if you're not free. And also you don't want to switch your plans around if you have important things to do. So the thing is, is that for this to work, both of y'all sort of have to be free. You understand to a certain extent, or you at least have to have some flexible plans. Like if you can't have no, you can't have definite plans and try to do this. Like you can't have, uh, you know, a situation where you got to go to work, right? And the thing is, you could uh, call out of work, but I suggest don't do that. This is, you know, I do not change up, you know, your life for some woman you just met. Don't do it. OK, just don't. <laughs> OK, so the thing is, if you're free and she's free, then that's the, the perfect situation. Right. So, again, you want to look for the flexible plans and the no plans. If she has definite plans, you want to sort of keep that moving and talk to another girl. Right now. This is the next thing, and this is the critical thing that you must do. This is sort of the thing that gets uh, things going and things started in order to go in the direction of you and her being able to have sex for that, you know, that first day. Now, the thing that you must do is this. You have to. All right, guys, that is it. Remember, click the link below or go straight to badboymembership.com so you can see this entire program and I will holler at you guys later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace, I'm gone.